asked about um, like why we called it chess club, and we were saying like, oh, we all feel like kind of dorky, mm -hmm. like, and then Nerd. and then um, Taylor asked like if any of us actually play chess, and we were like, oh, I don't know, and then we we said that you probably would be really really good. chess bard. <laughs> <laughs> I hell interpreted it as like quiet as like darker than yeah. that, of like chess club. I was hell like, I like sat with that for a while. Like when I was like, yeah. about it. Cause I thought it like, I thought it was kind of like, um, speaking to that kind of like existential dread again. And that like, like that chess is like, is adulthood. And so you're being like schooled in chess as in you're, you're learning how to be an adult, but it's this really kind of like, um, like there's ulterior kind of like ideas and that, that chess is like, I don't know, the game of life? I held, I don't know. I like that. That's, that's pretty good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know what, that's, that's our answer. Classic. Is there a zoom in function? Yeah, a little bit on the top. It's oh. really fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, I was getting a bit lost with that. This was like one of the first ones. I think so, yeah, yeah. I recorded acoustic guitar, I think, and I was trying to convince you to put this really cheesy clap thing in. That's right. Which I'm glad you vetoed. And also, like, for someone, like, a friend. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I just wanted to make it, like, hell boppy, and, like, that was kind of the start of it. And then I was doing lyrics, and I was like, oh, wait, I'm sad. I'm sad, but I'm smiling. Yeah. It reminded me heaps of the band Love, hey. True, like, yeah, yeah. So much. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I, feel like, I feel like that absurdist, like existential absurdism or absurdist existentialism is like such a thing for this generation. Everyone's on the train coughing, coughing. <laughs> Not was that related. I know. It's it's that, out at such a good time. I know. Yeah. We're, like, I, yeah. think was, I think we were like almost thinking of releasing it as a single for a sec and then it was like but just when COVID had broken out and I was like I don't mm. know if that's okay <laughs> yeah. like I don't think we can put that yeah. but it wasn't it wasn't not related to it was it was that's written so years ago yeah, yeah. Like, um, what did that mean at the time then because obviously it has such a different meaning now yeah like that image of like people coughing on the train yeah like, like, um it was like Oh, it was, so I was like, I'm pretty sure this was in my first year uni and I was like finding really hard to get a job and then all of a sudden I got like three at once and I was like trying to make everything work um, and it was like on the train back from like Claremont Quarter where one of the jobs were and like going past like Harry County Cemetery I was just like thinking about things and like everyone was like you know that whole thing of like you see people on the train you're so like close proximity to people and like <clears throat> you just have to kind of act like you're in your own little bubble. Yeah, you even, fully, like, fully. Um, but it was like, yeah, like I just, I remember like those like train trips and like getting a call that like I'd been fired from one of the jobs like while I was on the train coming back from another job and like just the weird little interactions. But it was, yeah, kind of just more about like the, that like visual image of that moment. Yeah, I connected with that song a lot, like ever since you wrote it, and I was like, oh my god. Because I always just, sometimes you just get that feeling and you're like, shit, everyone dies, and it's Literally. like so true. Yeah, those moments and, like, where your bubble just like bursts. Like, yeah. someone was telling me the other day that, like, they were driving down south or something, and a trampoline fell off someone's car and bounced into their car. And I was just like, mm. that just keeps like. Sorry. Being like, whoa, yeah. that's like one of those moments where you're like, I'm not invincible and anything can happen to me at any time. Like, how yeah. random is that? Yeah. <laughs>